Today I'm making a Mexican style Christmas punch known as Ponche Navideño. You guys requested this, so here we go. Today I'm making Mexican style Christmas punch known as Ponche. To start, I'll be using eight ounces of piloncillo, one small apple. Here I have eight ounces of tejocotes. This is kind of like a mini apple known as tejocotes. That's how I grew up calling it. I'm also using a third cup of jamaica. This is hibiscus flour, one large orange, four to five cinnamon sticks. Here I have guayaba. I'm also going to be using one tamarindo that I didn't put here. And I have some fresh sugar cane that I'm going to cut into small pieces. I'm also going to be using the skin of pineapple. To cut the sugar cane, I just cut a piece and I'm peeling the exterior. Then I'm just going to slice down the middle and chop into smaller chunks. To my pot, I've added two and a half liters of water. Now I'm going to add my piloncillo, the peel of my large orange, and I made sure to remove all of the piv from the orange. As you can see, I removed it because that will make your punch bitter. So you wanna make sure to do that. You could also zest the orange if you find that easier. Here I have my jamaica bundled in some cheesecloth, and I'm going to add my five cinnamon sticks. I'm going to dissolve the piloncillo, and then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Now that my piloncillo is dissolved, I'm going to add one tamarind that I removed from the outer shell, my sugar cane, the skin of my pineapple, and the tejocote. And I'm gonna give that a mix, and once it comes up to a simmer, I'm going to cover with a lid. I'm also going to lower the heat and let it simmer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid, give it a stir, and you'll want to give it a taste for sweetness. Now this is to your preference. I am going to add an extra third cup of sugar. You can add less or you could leave it out. It's up to you, but I think it needs it. So now I'm going to add my sliced apple. You can cut your apples into chunks, but for presentation purposes, I cut them in slices. Here I'm adding my halved guayabas, my sliced orange. I'm going to give that a mix and bring it back up to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, I'm going to cover with a lid, lower the heat, and let it continue simmering for about 30 to 35 minutes, or until your fruit has softened and everything becomes flavorful. My ponche is done and I'm going to serve a cup. You could also add brandy or tequila as you serve this for a holiday drink for adults. But this is perfect. This is the way I like to make it. You can also add raisins and prunes to this, but the type of fruits that you use, the amount of sweetness and the ratios are up to you. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.